What's up guys, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Yellow. Last episode we came here to Pewter City, and this episode we're going to battle Gym Leader Brock. And I haven't been able to upload for a while. It's been almost a week too, so I'm probably be uploading all this week now because I have some exams and I'll be home early and stuff. Since it's during exam time, it's like half days. So I'll be here around... Um, I'll be here pretty early, so I'll be uploading then, because before I didn't have that much time, because my teacher gave me all these packets, and I gotta finish all of them, so, yeah. And this guy's gonna have a day lit. I moved Hamhawks up front. I don't think this guy's gonna... I don't think he has any ground-type moves, so... I don't know which move does more, Tackle or Scratch, I think it's the same. Holy crap. Um. This thing has crazy defense. Uh, let's switch. Pikachu. Okay, Pikachu, own with your awesome quick attack, which you just learned last episode, and take it out. You know. Maybe two quick attacks? Yep. Alright, I need to go heal up. Ah, come on. There it is. I am not talking to that Jigglypuff again, because I remember it put Pikachu to sleep. I always wondered why the nurses always always say, hope to see you again soon. Wouldn't that be a bad thing if they saw you again? Because Pokemon would be hurt if they saw you again, so I don't know why they want to see you again. Probably all just douchebags, but hey, they they liked seeing you, your Pokemon pain, probably make more money, so they don't care. But. There was only one gym trainer in there, so I think we can battle Brock now, so... Come on, come on, we can finally get our first badge, and... I'm Brock. I'm Pewter City's gym leader. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why all my, that's why my Pokemon are all rock type Pokemon, rock types. If you still want to challenge me, fine then. Show me your best. Epic music, and... Start battle. Oh yeah, guys, it's Brock, and he only has two Pokemon, so hopefully this will be easy. Wish Hamhawks knew like a poison type move or something. And no, it is not going to be easy. It's really not going to be easy. Let's see if I can get a couple of growls off. Lord's defense and his offense to the point where he can barely attack. All right. Alright, so I'm probably just gonna stall it off. Actually, I'm switch Pikachu in. Yeah, I have a good strategy. Tail up until I can't do anything. Alright, so now his offense or def and defense is so low. It cannot hurt me. Pikachu is going to sweep me. Alright. I hope this thing doesn't use its, like, special, like, its TM move right off the bat, because that'll be pretty annoying. Aw, oh, holy crap. Didn't think I was going to survive that. Um, Hammocks. Alright, I think I did enough. Oh, wrong move. Kill it. Come on. Alright. 
got him good enough, and now two quick attack until he dies, and it's probably the cheapest way to win, but I do not care. And we defeat Onyx, and we got our first badge, and Hemhawk is now level 12. That would have been so much more helpful four minutes ago. God. Now you learn double kick? I hate that one. I hate it when that happens to Pokemon. Like, if Pokemon learns, like, a move that's super effective towards gym leader, right after you beat the gym leader, it's so freaking annoying. But, hey, it doesn't matter. We beat the gym leader in, I guess, two minutes, maybe. And we got TM34, which is Bide in this game. I don't think Bide is a TM in all, any of the other games anymore. Bide's not really that useful unless the other Pokemon's attacking, so I might not be teaching it to anybody on my team. So, let's go to Pokemon Center, heal up, and head on to Mount Moon. Alright. Finally got our first badge, and now we're going to be heading over to, I think, Cerulean City. I always kind of get Cerulean City and Celadon City, the name's mixed up. Epic double kick, and miss. Don't die on me, come on. Alright. Now the Hamhox is pretty high level for now. Switch him up to the switch to the front, and I think this is a bug type trainer. You met me in Viridian Forest. Well, I met like five other guys named Bug Catcher, so I don't know which one you are. And they all had Caterpies too, so really do not know who you are. If you're gonna get owned, so is your Weedle. Under shot right in the face. And Caterpie. Get owned by Thundershock. Get out of my face. Alright. Oh crap. I did not notice that at all. Didn't know Pikachu fainted. Thought it was asking me to switch Pokemon because I beat his other one. And holy crap, no. Where super speeding is gonna make me lose. And yep. Well, it wasn't because I was super speeding, it's because him has full health. And come on. You're gonna get owned this time by Thunder Shot Face three times. And holy crap. Alright. I forgot over here that you have to battle one of them, so... If you go this way, you gotta battle both of them, so... That is annoying as... Freaking... Turds and... All that other nasty stuff. My last potion! And... Probably gonna have to buy some more later on. Your Nidoran male's gonna get owned by my badass Nidoran female. And you got owned. Actually, there's Pokemon Center over there, so I don't really mind battling all these trainers with just damn hawks. So, double kick. Oh, never mind. He's like four Pokemon, and they're all bug types, and. Kuna and Metapod are the most annoying bug types. Because all they do is hard hit. It's, it's just annoying. Alright. The last trainer over here, I'll probably battle that other guy down there. Maybe later, but not right now. And I don't know why I use Growl and Teach Tackle.
dear God, man, it's taking so long. Stupid Metapod. Nidoran female is so close to evolving into Nidorina, and I did not mean to go that direction. I was going to battle him after I healed up, but it's too late. Might as well just get it out of the way, and... Oh, God. Alright. We're just getting owned left and right by different trainers. It's like they're all taking turns. Alright. Only this time, my Oz Pikachu and it's one hit KO, and you're down. Punk. Alright. That's what you get for taking up my Nidoran female last time. But now we can finally head over to Mount Moon. Or Mount Boner. That's what I like to call it. And she has one of these most annoying Pokemon. Well, not really. It's only if it knows Sing, and that is Jigglypuff. And Jigglypuff looks freaking albino. It's freaking red eyes. It's pretty cool, actually. Thunder Shock. Oh, disabled Thunder Shock. Alright, and that's it for Jigglypuff and this young lass over here, and there are no more trainers, and so we head in Mount Boner, but, nope, saw some white stuff over there. Here is the Pokemon Center. Oh, crap. Mount Boner Tunnel Entrance. And that is the exit on the other side. I think. Wow. The outside, it makes the place look so small. And, no, I will not be coming in here yet. Because I want to go get some repels. I just remembered. Whoa, Pikachu looks spazzing out like crazy, spinning in circles. It's pretty weird. And no, there are no freaking repels. God, do they not sell them here until you get to the next town or something? That would be really annoying. I have to go through an entire cave out repels. And run into one of the most annoying wild type Pokemon in the game. Zubat. Alright. I'm going to put Hamhops up front, because Hamhops will just take down every single Pokemon in this tunnel, maybe. Since most of them are rock types, and she knows double kicks. Double kick. Not double kicks, but... Yeah, so... I think she has, like, a... Clefairy or something. Maybe I can battle her. I'm waiting for my friend to find me here. The last wants to fight. And last wants to get owned by Double Kick. Alright guys, so that was it for this episode of Pokemon Yellow Version. I'll see you guys next episode of Pokemon Yellow Version when we go through Mount Boner and get to Cerulean City. So I'll see you guys then.